ladies and gentlemen, this is Grayshirt Gaming here. This is the last box, or the last pack, the last episode. I don't know if I'm going to do a compilation where I just mash all the episodes together. Probably not. So um, I'll set up a playlist where you can watch them from the start to the beginning, or from the start to the end. And uh, most of the episodes aren't super long. But yeah, this is the last Odyssey Torment Judgment. Um, this set is just, it's got so much flavor, so much color. It's, I don't know, it's from a time of magic where the, the cards aren't super valuable anymore. There's, you know, there's Cabal Covers and a couple other ones that are really valuable. But it's just, it's something that just reminds me of the beginning. So let's just get into it. Let's see what we're going to get. Um, now, if you, the astute among you will count, this is not, there's not 36 episodes. There's, I think, 35. Uh, because I took one pack out of each box for my Pack Wars box. Um... So, yeah, it's not a full box, it's one, one pack less. And uh, that's probably where all the good cards are. Careful Study, Debris, Hunger, Earth Rift, Visibility, Lunatic, little Repel action, Diligent Farmhand, he's pretty, pretty useful. He's got the Muscle Burst thing going on. Zombie Assassins, that always creeps me out. Aramancer, that's some Rebecca Gay, land, or Rebecca Gay Arts, very nice. Aura Grafts is our uncommon. Nimble Mongoose. That's pretty sweet. The Mongoose is fighting that. Uh, it's like a dragon or a snake thing. Huh. And then uh, Pulsating Illusion. And our rare is Junk Golem. It's our last rare in Odyssey that we're going to get. Junk Golem comes to play with three 1-1 one -one counters. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Junk Golem unless you remove a plus one, plus one counter from it. Discard a card from your hand to put another counter. And we have a Foil Rare Pardic Fire Cat. That's pretty nice. I love the foils in Odyssey. <sighs> this is the, probably the last pack of Odyssey I'm ever going to open. Uh, I don't foresee ever buying another box of Odyssey. So to get a foil in the last pack, it's pretty good. It feels pretty nice. And uh, yeah, 350 card set. Um, my plan is after, after I'm all done, I'm going to count up what cards I'm missing and I'm probably just going to order those singles because they're not super expensive to get the last cards. And uh, I'll have a full set of Odyssey after that, and that'll be nice. And uh, But yeah, I got a Party Fire Cat. Nice. Okay. Let's move on to Torments. Will we have a box that only has one Cabal Coffers in it? Will we get another one in this pack? Probably not. Uh, we're probably not going to get any more Cabal Coffers. This is probably the last. We probably only got one per, one per box, which is fine. Or the only other one is in that other pack that's in the Pack Wars box. <laughs> That'd be funny. Flying Shield, Torture, Analysis, the Baskin Rue Wallet, been reprinted several times, always a good card. The Fiend, Purification, Restless Dreams, the Aristocrats, Petrovark, the Psychotic Haze, we got the Stern Judge, there you go. The Collaborator, and we got a Strength of Lunacy. So no, nope, this box only did give me one Cabal Coffers. But we did get a rare, which is Vengeful Dreams. That's some Mark Tedden art there. As an additional cost to cast Vengeful Dreams, discard X cards from your hands. So this is one of those, there was a cycle of these. Remove X target attacking creatures from the game. So, that's pretty good, actually. I kind of like that. Yeah. If you were playing something where you can recur cards or, like, you were you were about to get, like, washed out. Yeah. I could see this being a good card. Not a bad, not a bad card for my last, uh, yeah, for my last Torment unopening. All right, Judgment, last pack of Judgment. We got Anger, we got the Angry Baby. That's cute. Oh, we got Laquata's Disdain, counter target spell played from a graveyard, draw a card. Okay. We got a Foil Uncommon, Exco Skeleton Armor. Did we get this? Did we get this already? Well, I know we got this card already, but did we, we didn't get this in Foil already. That'd be silly. Uh, but yeah, enchanted creature gets plus X plus X where X number of creatures and all what number of creature cards in all graveyards. That's pretty good. And our rare is Spelljack. So our last rare of the series. Counter target spell, if it's countered this way, removed from game, instead of putting it to its orange graveyard, so you exile it. As long as it remains removed from the game, you may pay you may play it as though it were in your hand without paying its mana cost. If it has X in its mana cost, the X is zero. The weirdest thing ever is you could theoretically play the card forever? Is that how I'm reading it? I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look at the rules for this card. I'm not 100% sure. Because as long as this card, as long as it remains removed from the game, you may play it as though in your hand. So 
if you play it, does that mean it goes to like the graveyard after you play it, or does it stay exiled? Hmm, many a question. Many a burgeoning question with Spelljack. We got the Bodyguard, Lost in Thought, the Rats, Sentry, Battlefield Scourger, the Newt, Mirror Wall, the Scorcher, Folk Medicine, Fogbringer, and the Advocate. So the weird thing about Judgment, the weird thing about the whole set with Odyssey is... I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the story behind Odyssey, but it was like lots of cool stuff, or lots of cool like artifacty stuff, and learning about the world. And then it was torments, and it was all it was just all evil and cabal and darkness. And the judgment was supposed to be like the the scourging, cleaning of the darkness. That's just kind of how I remember it. But uh, judgment never really got that much praise. I do remember when I was playing it in the in my local hobby store at the time growing up. Uh, I do remember playing Judgment, and people, you know, some people really liked it, some people didn't like it. Um, what came after Judgment? Was it Onslaught? I think it was the Onslaught block that came after Judgment block. I think that's right, but I could be wrong. Uh, but I think Onslaught was received a lot better than uh, the Odyssey block. And then there was Kamigawa, and there was, there was Mirrodin, and I think I'm missing a set somewhere in there. I'm probably missing a block somewhere in there. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed... I had fun. Definitely, uh, those the foil basic lands that I got, I think I got two or three of them. Those are really nice. But, uh, yeah. Feel free to, uh, I'm going to put this in a playlist. This will be with all the other ones. I'll sort it by um, first episode to last episode. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a good time. Later.